Hello, hello, hello! I'm back playing another game from Game Jolt, and this one is Nomad. Now, this is a psychological thriller, and I'm just playing the demo right now. It's a bit of a teaser, so I don't know how long it is or how much of the game it's actually going to explore. But after the intro sequence, uh, which didn't really tell the story, it was just kind of, you know, the, the branding for the developer here, uh, this is where I landed. So I'm right in the middle of the game now, so we're going to move forward and uh, see what is what. Um, but uh, this this looks cool. I like the mood. I like the feel. I like having all the little floaties and how this little door is out of uh, view. Not out of view. Out of uh, focus. I like how this thing that I'm looking at is out of my sight. Um, okay. We're back to the, you know, clompy footsteps that I love so much. Is that Spider-Man? I'm not the only person who thought that looked like Spider-Man, right? Like with the, uh, red and blue... I don't know. Hi! What are you up to? Are you floating in an abyss with an apple in your hand? What kind of apple is that? Oh, look at you! You have that, like, that little face. That's like a cute little face that people make. Um, when they're making, like, 3D porn. <coughs> oh, God. oh, God. Oh. Okay, so, um, what is this? Is this a, uh, Fuji? Uh, is this a Honeycrisp? Because if it's a Honeycrisp, I'm all about it. Ooh. Oh, I can zoom in with right. The right mouse button. All right, give me that. Give me that apple. An apple a day keeps the spooks away. Um, what the fuck? Uh, was that your apple? No, sir! No! Do actually, maybe you should, because you just killed her. I don't know why. So, yeah. Um. All right, so this is very trippy so far. It really is uh, going heavy on the psychological part. I like that. Da douche, da douche. All right. Something sounds wet and drippy. I don't like it. But let's walk forward. Clump, it clump. Don't, don't, it don't go, don't, don't, shiggy, don't, don't. Am I huge? Am I tall? Oh, okay. Wow, that perspective was really weird. I like how that. uh... I like that. I like how that came into like normal perspective. Oh, look at my body. I'm wearing a dirty something. Um, yeah, I like that, because it made it look almost like I was very high up and very, like, grand, and then it just kind of shrank down to what it should be. Uh, but again, wet noise. Oh. That's cool. TV's watching me. Haha. -ha. You think you're symbolic? You're not symbolic. I'm symbolic. What is this? A burning house with some... Is that soldiers? What is this? Whoop! Back up a little bit. That's a fucking bird lady thing eating something. And there's some people. I think he's got a stick poked out of his ass. I don't really... That's a party. That's what that is. That's just a party. Parties are fine. Can I go in here? Wow. Wow. All right, that's some, that's some stuff, some stuff. Let's see what's in this one. Well, okay, it's just a brick wall, so I guess I gotta go where there's stuff happening that's not palatable. What the fuck was that? Ew, 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 ew. Again, crunchy, nasty mouth noises, wetness, gross. Is that a thing? Eating so- <laughs> No. Hi! Hello! Okay. Yeah, that thing was gross, and it was eating stuff, but, um, I'm gonna go towards the darkness that it was in. That's smart. Oh. Is there anything to the right? Oh, okay. Left is best. Oh god, these noises. 
I mean, I do like this uh, stylistic choice of having things be very obscured by blurriness and then, you know, progressively coming into view. Like, I see how that can build suspense, so I do like this. Hey! Didn't you hear that crack kills? <laughs> Put on some pants. Okay, well. Or disappear, either one. Whichever one gets your naked booty out of my face the fastest. Am I interrupting something? Hey, is there free food at this? If so, I'll join. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten anything yet. No, you, you guys are not, not all that talkative, I see. I understand, should I just stand in the middle here? Is this good for you, is this what you wanted? Wow. That is fucking unnerving. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that with a cat. I didn't like that with a hat. I didn't like that with a bat. Whoa. What? What? What broke the circle? What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. I'm gonna get out of the circle. I didn't like that at all. Alright, let's just go. Let's go where the light flashes because the light is really dumb. The light is here for fun because it wants to kill me. Okay, more televisions with vision. Get it? Alright. Just gonna go left because left is best. It's very dark. It is very, very, very dark. Okay, ooh! A door, a door, a door. Okay. Can I go in here? Oh, my word. There is just something fun behind every corner in this place. I'll follow you. Can I run? No, of course not. Are you looking at me? Are you what do you why are you going left and right? I can go left and right too. Look at this. Look. Look, I could do that too. Is that what you wanted? You wanna dance? You wanna dance? Let's go. I'm not afraid of you and your kind. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. I haven't actually decided the jury's still out. Let's keep going. Knock, knock, who's there? Frightening, frightening who? Frightening you. Ooh, how clever. Oh God, it's so dark. It's, I, I don't, oh, whoa, who? Okay. All right, so that just was a load screen, I guess. Oh, it's nice and bright. Oh, that makes me feel better, but this makes me feel worse. This is this is worse. This is not this is not good. Nothing better is happening. Um no 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 okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Place is falling apart, is it? Hmm. Pink eye. Hmm. Split face. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tomorrow. Tomorrow who? You won't be alive. I don't know. What? Okay. Oh. Alright. Knock, knock. Oh, I did like that. I like the light. Uh, in effect here. Oh god, is this the same hall again, only grosser? No, it's a, it's a different gross hall. Variety is the spice of life. Do 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 na 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 You know, I am into the atmosphere so far. Um, and I'm in- Oh! Oh hey! It's me! Get all these tables here. Wow, I have something coming off of my neck. 
And it's like just like a little graphical thing happening. What are you putting your hand up for? All right, don't don't articulate an emote while I'm looking at you. Oh God! All right, so what am I doing? Where am I going? Is there something I'm supposed to be seeing here? What is this? Does this say something? Oh, no one. Wait, what? Wait. Alive. No one gets out alive. Is that what that says? Because it would have been easier to look at it here. So yeah, no one here gets out alive. Okay. So, oh my god. Your face was very close to the screen, sir. And you're very dirty. Why is everyone so dirty? You know, if I were a developer, like, my dream, if I ever do, um, kind of sit down and learn how to make a game, my dream is to have a very, like, to have a horror game that is set in kind of the antithesis of a horror setting. Like, I want to, um, do, like, set a horror game at, like, a summer, like, holiday vacation resort beach kind of thing, but it's going to be a psychological thriller. And, um, and, you know, things are going to be very bright and stuff. Uh, so you're not going to be used to, like, oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? Why not have the wall of a mirror turn into a door? That's fine. Um, so you, you wouldn't, uh, expect the, the creepiness to come from where it does. Um, but long story short... I do appreciate everybody who makes games, even if I don't like the games that they're making. Because I'm not making games, you know? And I, I would love to, but it's not something I have the time to do. Alright, that, that's fine. That's just a dude eating some food. I'm going to assume that that's human flesh, because that's the only way that that would actually be creepy, if, if that's what he's eating. Um... We all see what's happening here. I'm not going to comment on it. But this is like the Brady Bunch meets the Adams Family meets fucking... I don't know. Let's just... Let's just go. Here's this dude looking all creepy and they're like, hmm, read this paper. And he's like, no, I'm going to look forward. I'm going to look forward. Oh shit! Whew! I did not know you were deaf. No, no, get away! Go, 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 go around the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, getting hostile. I see. Getting hostile. Anyway, why did I go off on a tangent talking about a game that I want to make? Um. Oh, poor doggy, and then the doggy with the two heads. I see. And okay, so I'm seeing like. Is disability the theme of this hall? Because we had somebody in a wheelchair, you know, the two-headed dog. Now these people with, like, pegs for legs and stick. Th I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do like the atmosphere. But I will say that um, I'm not really a fan of horror games that kind of use randomness to their advantage where it's like you know you walk through and like the rooms change and it's like oh there was a book and now there's a knife you know because random now okay oh all right uh randomness doesn't really scare me it's just like jarring so yeah it's not that i don't like this um it's not that there's anything wrong with this it is just me being very picky about indie horror and uh, this just happening to fall under an umbrella of a type of indie horror that I'm not into. Namely, just throwing things at you that are weird. That's not really my thing. And it's not because it's bad. It's just that sometimes I think that developers, I'm not saying that's what happened here, but when developers are making that kind of game, I feel like they focus too much on, hey, let's do stuff that's unexpected and less on having any kind of cohesive experience. There needs to feel like there's some progression. There needs to feel like there's some tie-in from one creepy thing to the next, you know, and there was, there was some 
uh, sort of tie-ins with like these shadowy figures with the eyes that were like floodlights. Um, and I did like that. I like that a lot. And then I don't know, I just feel like at a certain point it kind of lost its way. It started doing like the hallway thing. This this started stronger than it ended. Uh, but overall, I mean, the game does look good. And you know, the sound design's not bad. Um, this could be, this could be something, this could be something. And you know, congrats to the developer for getting this started and for getting it this far.